to it herself. And now LNG, they need to be the ones playing backline, playing defensive, and giving Scout and Gala some time to free fire. And then we do finally get the anchor coming through here for LNG. It is the Nautilus that will be locked in. So a lot of point and click CC, beautiful stuff against a double marksman style composition, but that means that Hung... Not, not available for Hung, but... They gotta find the engage. Up. Gala, he has flash, he has cleanse, will preemptively burn it, but he gets headbutted and pulverized. Now Gala's locked down. Is this just gonna be first blood? And it's Ruler who picks it up. He got his head chopped off in game two, but he's alive. Nine, but Knight needs the rocket jump. He took an extra tower shot there. Tarzan not gonna follow him up just in case there was anything coming, but Kanavi, he was doing the dragon the whole time. I think Tarzan was looking for the mind game. Everything flashes importantly. Circus towards this bot side. Mid lane is currently stuck in top side. Wow, that hex flash actually for Missy is so big. Featherstorm's already used. That's such a defensive tool. That's Gala's cleanse as well, but the blade call is actually pretty big in the back there. Missing is still tanking it up with that unbreakable. He will not go down. It is going to be a re-engage from Hung. An Emperor's Divide pushed out by the, the ninth Buster Shop, and it doesn't matter. The AOE combos and a double kill for Zika. LNG! So much about their compositional strength and the fact that they needed to defend Knight and Ruler, and that is ever so present here in Game 3. We did get that side lane pressure. Count on that point, but if you're alive, you can do damage. Ooh! That was actually so clutch from Tarzan right there. He denies the engage from Misty, but Misty goes right back in, burning the, the Ignite already. TP comes scout. through. We aren't even fighting over the Rift there. We're just fighting to fight, and it is the missing going a little bit missing here as he goes down. Scout gets the kill in the end, and it's LG who are separating JDG as a whole. It might just be Zika trying to take down three He's on a deep flank, he is behind oh Vision, God. but how much can you do with this? There are flashes and ults available from LNG. This is still not an easy engage. Just get a second tier tower. I mean, 369, what are you gonna do here? I mean, he's, he's, he's not on Vision, but it's grouping up to get a bomb onto this bot tower. However, if they overstay, I mean, the entire team of LNG can pounce if there's a mistake made. Oh, this is a 3v4 right now, and Zika's tanking up so much, he gets in there. Look how much the Crocodile is doing! Nice double headbutt and pulverized combo from missing, but the depth charge connects, and they have so much going for them. Kanavi's already out of the fight, but it's actually Knight that turns Side right. of LNG, and then just been done with it. LNG, they push in another lane, they bait in a play towards the bot side, and then they take the dragon. LNG's macro in the last couple of games, one of the very best players of it, LNG. They've toyed with JDG in terms of macro around the last objective they're at. They're now starting up the Baron, trying to force the play again. They're just forcing the fight. They're taking JDG to task here. Big Magnet Storm comes in from Kanavi. That's pretty big, but look, Zika, he's going right back on a knight. He needs to get back over there, though. He goes over with Scout, and Scout can't get the engage, though. So it is actually going to be 369 caught out. Missing has the flash over the wall, and Kanavi, it gets taken out as well. That's the second time Kanavi is the first to fall, and LNG go right Right back to the Baron. Go right back to it. LNG, they're using the objectives to put JDG's feet over the flames. What cooldowns do JDG have left? They've got to do something. Ruler has to step up. He doesn't have the guns. He has the grab them, but he gets engaged on. Is it going to be the depth charge? That's enough. He's locked down. That's the Empress Divide. And LNG, they destroy them again and again as Knight left out to dry. And LNG, the chillin' has arrived. No cohesive movement as a whole, and it is something that they're getting picked up. Right, like, Missing is trying his hardest, but he just goes down to the end of the replay. That means that they're going to push down a second tier tower. They still have almost two minutes on the Baron buff, and LNG, there's a cooks too. Beef for dinner for LNG. They're trying to finish off in a 5v4 with the Baron buff available. Nature's Grass comes across. They get the turret here as well. Nice little lockdowns. They actually fight Konami again. They can't get him. They can't stop him. LNG, it's the ruler that is the only one that can find anything right now for JDG, but there is an emperor on the other side, and Scout in the his big is. stay, in his pick, and it's LNG that will take that leg forward. They will completely clean ace JDG, and that's 2-1 for the third seed from hell. LNG, go golden in that game as they threaten the golden road from JDG. No one expected LNG to be in this finals and they are putting themselves into two match points against the team everyone expected.